earlier today an attempted act of treason by former 23 chairman of River State Local Government, whose tenure expired on 17 June 2024, made an early morning attempt to unlawfully take over the government of the 23 LUJ and Rivers. But that traceable attempt was resisted by the will of the people of River State, who resisted this unlawful act. This act of failed treason was organized by the former 23 LUGA chairman, whose tenure has long expired, but they wanted to use magistrates from neighboring states to conduct a kangaroo swearing in, despite knowing that their tenure has since expired. We salute the courage of River State people who came out boldly to protect the local government and foil the attempt to unlawfully seize the institution of governance by the former chairman, this heroic action of the people of River States is in line with Section 20 of the Administration of Criminal Justice Act that empowers citizens to arrest and foil any criminal act being committed in their presence. We also appreciate Governor Sim Fubara for being a democratic leader. Despite all the provocation, he allowed the former local government chairman to complete their democratic three years tenure, unlike his predecessor, who upon election in 2015, dissolved the elected local government chairman under Governor Mechi tenure, despite other of course. We wish to call on the government of River State to immediately prepare treason charges against the 23 former LUGA chairmen and their sponsors and co-conspirators for the third act of attempt for the third attempt to unlawfully take over the government of the 23 LUGA, knowing fully well that their tenure has elapsed and they were no longer local government chairmen. It will be recalled or note that section 1-2 of the constitution forbids any unlawful takeover of government in any part of Nigeria. Also, Section 39 of the Police Act forbids this act of treason. And more importantly, Section 37.1 of the Criminal Code that anyone who levies war or attempts to take over any part of the government in, on the Federation is liable to be convicted for an act of treason. And also Section 12 of the Criminal Procedure Law and Section 23 of the Criminal Code all forbids the third attempt by the former local government chairman. So on this ground, that we are calling on the government of River State led by Governor Sim Fubara to commence the process of criminal prosecution for act of attempted treason by this to a former 23 local government uh, chairman for attempting to unlawfully take over the government of the 23 local government area, including their sponsors. The judiciary must be vigilant and not the judiciary must be vigilant and not aid these men who are desperate to take over institutional governance in River State undemocratically. Let the judiciary be firm. The issue here is very simple. Elected House of Assembly members, without provocation, they come from their political party PDP and join the APC. Their seats were declared vacant by virtue of that decommitment by the remaining legitimate members of the State House of Assembly. They ran to a federal high court where they swore to an affidavit and said that they have left the People's Democratic uh, Party. And up after that, they secured an injunction. But the same people went to Port Court where they also claiming they had never left PDP, they are still members of the PDP, after re realizing the futility of their action. Their seat has long been declared vacant. The vote and proceedings of the Edison-led leadership of the House before Okejombo have been ratified by the court and they are substituting judgment and ruling of competent courts that have said these people are no longer lawmakers and have legalized the vote and proceedings that declared their seat vacant. This same matter has gone to appeal court, where they made an attempt to stay the execution of the judgment that did recognize them, and the appeal court refused to grant their application, thereby showing clearly that they are unknown to law. We want to call also on President Mohamed uh, Bola Ahmed Tunubu, the country is facing difficult times. There is tension in the land. 
there is poverty issue, there is economic challenges, citizens are suffering. Any act that can lead to breakdown of law and order can lead to collapse of democratic governance in every part of the country. Those who are pushing this crisis in River State does not mean well for your government. Because at the end of the day, any ignite, anything that is ignited in any part of the country can consume the country. So it's very important the president called those who are working him to order to allow democratic institutions function in River State. And there cannot be anything called tenure elongation. Local government chairmen that their tenure have democratically expired after three years in office. Now said former lawmakers go into went into a bedroom and came out and said we have extended by a resolution, a resolution of, by sacked lawmakers that they cannot stay in office. Imagine if we woke up in Nigeria today, the president stays extra 10 years or 20 years in office by a resolution of the House of National Assembly. Or a governor continue to hold on in office and say, I remain governor after 20 years because there's a resolution of a state house of assembly. How can a local government chairman that his tenure have expired be struggling to go and take over government at the expiration of his tenure? Because he said that the house of assembly has passed a resolution that says he can stay in office to the second coming of uh, Jesus Christ. Now, this act of these state lawmakers, these former lawmakers, is an act of treason. And the failed attempt to take over the government of River State by this former local government chairman is also an act of treason. It's on this note that we are calling on President Mohamed Buhari to call those working for him and those in his party, because they went to his party, and that's when this crisis started. Don't, don't President Bola Metinubu, let those working for him and those who have joined his party not do anything that will lead to the collapse of Nigerian democracy. We all remember what happened in the wide, wide west. And those constitutional crises and electoral crises of in the 60s, in 1983, and there are bad. That led to the collapse of uh, our democratic structures. We should not put Nigeria in a situation whereby, despite all these pressure citizens are going through, then you do something that is unlawful that can lead to collapse of democratic governance in Nigeria. We don't want that to happen to Nigeria. And that is why we are saying the president needs to call those working for him to order to allow democratic institutions and the government of River State to function. And on, 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 in ending, it's important we, we draw your attention to the decision of the Court of Appeal. The Court of Appeal, in his decision a few days ago, made it very clear. And, and let me quote what Justice uh, Hama Akawubaka said. I have equally studied prayer 6, 8, and 11, prayed by the applicant. A critical study of the prayers deals with the substance of the issue on appeal. And dealing or granting the same will be tantamount to determining the issues on appeal at this interlocutory stage, which this court will decline to do. The conclusion is that the application succeeds in part. Prayer 1, 2, 3, 4, and 7 are granted why other prayers stand not granted? This is very clear. And what are those uh, uh, prayers? Prayer one that was granted to those pro wiki lawmakers is that an order for accelerated uh, hearing, an order for leave to complete and transmit record of appeal, uh, an order deeming the record of appeal completed, uh, co compiled and transmitted by the appellant and filed in this appeal as record of appeal, an order. Uh, abridging the time allowed by the rules of this honorable court for parties to file their brief, and then number seven, an order staying further proceeding, proceedings, not stay of execution. That's what was granted. And what was rejected? The Court of Appeal rejected granting them an order staying the execution of the expected orders of interim injunction, which restrained these same lawmakers from parading as members of the River State House of Assembly. The Court of Appeal also rejected to grant them an order of injunction restraining. Uh, 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 okay, Jumbo and the River State House of Assembly from implementing and enforcing the decisions of that court, including uh, uh, the governor. The Court of Appeal also rejected an injunction they were, they were seeking, seeking to stop the, the, the leadership of the River State House of Assembly from parading themselves. The Court of Appeal also refused to set aside the meetings and sittings and proceedings and deliberation of the River State House of Assembly presided over by uh, Okejumbo. That means the decisions, the reversal of those illegal amendments of the local government law and everything that was done is legal because the Court of Appeal refused to allow the Promwike people void it. And the Court of Appeal also refused to grant an order setting aside all action steps, decision, or resolution of the River State House of Assembly presided over by the Speaker, Okejumbo. So I don't know where they are getting the fake information that are biding about. The Court of Appeal rejected any attempt for those sacked 27 lawmakers to make any law or the validity of any law they have made in the past, the Court of Appeal restrained, refused to grant that application. So what we have today is what was uh, what uh, Oke Jumbo is doing, which is the, the rightful speaker. So I don't know where they got those fake information they are banding about. They are no longer.
longer lawmakers. They don't have any law they have made that is valid. And so, therefore, the purported extension of the tenure of the local government chairman is unknown to law. And more importantly, this is the same, I'm going to look at his affidavit, where he swore that by 11th of December 2023, he has left the PDP for APC. And suddenly, they are running back again to say they are back in PDP because they are desperately looking for an opportunity to acquire any legitimacy with which they will cause this confusion they are doing in rivers. And Nigerians need to know that early this morning, what happened? They went and brought some magistrates. Which I don't know whether they are reverse magistrate. And people know, need to understand why what happened this morning happened in reverse. They went and brought magistrate. I don't know where they, they got them from, packed them in buses, and they were waiting to move into the local government headquarters this morning to swear con to conduct a swearing in exercise. That will not swear in people that their tenure have expired as local government chairman. They cannot remain in office without a tenure. Look at the level of madness people wanted to perpetuate in Rivers this morning. So I don't know how the people of Rivers had heard about it and stormed those local government headquarters and took control of those local government headquarters so that the head of administration can act as required by law in view of the vacancy that have occurred by the expiration of their tenure. So these things that happen today, we must learn one thing from it, that the will of the people once called upon, once the people step forward, that is greater than any power. And want to thank the Rivers State people for coming out strongly to defend democracy and defend the power of the people. Uh, to be respected. Thank you. Yes. The shots.